Now, I know we talked about this uh, last hour, but I did want to bring this back in because I feel like we didn't really get the time to um, just commit to it. Uh, we mentioned G Herbo on Kai Sinat's uh, live stream breaking the news that he lost his father recently. Let's take a listen to that clip one more time. I just lost my pops two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. I still find a reason to get up and smile, to get up and work, to provide for my family, to be there for my children. My oldest boy right here just got his ears pierced. Look, my son, he crying because I'm talking about his grandfather, but it's okay, man. Family first, you know? You miss your papa? It's okay, man. He living through you, son. So I wanted to make sure that we, you know, took the proper time to send him some love. I know uh, G Herbo was a friend of the room mm -hmm. um, and all that good stuff. And I, we've been seeing, I've been seeing him move around because he did drop new music since then. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of people were like, "Whoa!" They were, you know, they were taking it back a bit. Well, I got a lot of respect for Herbo, man. You know, the day his, uh, the day his father passed, he was actually on his way to the Breakfast Club. He like, was, yeah. He, like he, literally, he, found out, he yep. literally got yeah. the news as he was on the way here, and he actually still came in and still came in the building he mm -hmm. was you know visibly shook up of course and of course we didn't do an interview that, that would be just ridiculous but he just wanted to come up here and tell us why he couldn't do the interview and he, di he didn't have to do that at all like yeah. who wouldn't understand who wouldn't understand what he was going through in that That's moment right. so yeah uh, salute to herbal salute always. to g herbal yeah for sure um now in other news uh diddy so there has been a new filing in the diddy case which is crazy because i feel like with all these new filings they hit and then they go away so fast now because mm -hmm. it's so much diddy news all the time um but basically diddy um is asking for bail again and uh the 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 federal prosecutors have responded to that ask and basically what they're saying is that they're alleging that from prison right now diddy is still allegedly trying to sway witnesses and trying to corrupt witnesses and trying to sway the jury. So they pointed out a couple things. So remember when we um, had that video of his kids wishing him a happy 55th birthday? Yes. And Baby Love was singing and it mm -hmm. was like, you know, tearjerker. Now, common sense would tell you that, you know, posting stuff like that is it goes to character. You want to speak to his character if you can as his children. Uh, but it was his birthday. So I think people didn't think much of it. Mm -hmm. Now, the feds are saying that they have on record recorded phone calls, allegedly, that Diddy would do things like he would call his family members and say, hey, we need to post things on social media that jurors will hopefully see and from that they'll be able to my, my character will look a lot better when they come in this courtroom and they said that you know there were various things that they that he instructed his family to post on social media and you remember also too people were pointing out that Christian came on Diddy's social media and was like hey I'm going to be taking over my dad showing some good moments so you can get the, the love the vibes the, the feel back mm -hmm. so people pointed to that as well too and the, and the feds are saying that he took it as far as to he would request to get the insights from his team like the market insights on social media to see how well the posts were doing, mm -hmm. how far they were reaching. They're also alleging that they found in like a random sweep of like, I guess his floor that he's on, mm -hmm. they found some like notes he was taking, I guess, preparing for trial. And in those notes, he mentions paying off, uh, uh, allegedly it mentions paying off Kalana, Kalani Harper, Kalana Harper, the girl from Dirty Money, mm -hmm. to uh, release a statement. Remember, she came out and released that statement on Instagram saying, I don't know what Dawn is talking about. I ain't seen nothing. I don't know nothing about that. So there he don't write raps and I'm supposed to believe he was writing that type of stuff and just having it this lying is what around. This is what they're alleging. <laughs> like, they, they said that they have the notes. They what? said that the phone calls are recorded. Um, they also say on these recorded lines as well, Diddy is, uh, you know, just encouraging different people to reach out to witnesses and stuff like that as well who could provide like very uh, harming testimony. I, I thought they said about a week ago that both sides weren't going to release things into the public that it was only going to be in court. So this is in court. This came out of a filing. So, this, okay. so Diddy's team filed to say, hey, we want bail again. And they did the whole bail package rundown and then the feds responded gotcha. through documents that said nope we don't think he should get bailed and here's why mm -hmm. and um, you know from what I know Diddy seem of course will be responding back to this so mm -hmm. you'll hear that pretty soon but this is all happening in the court we just know because it's public filing gotcha. I, want, I wonder how hard it is for them, to, for them to pick jurors for cases like this oh it gotta and, be tough yeah, and, because, and what I mean is not even I'm not even thinking about you know what's happening on social media what's happening in the news now when you got somebody like Diddy who's been a part of culture for 30 plus years mm -hmm. I'm sure he has fans okay right so how do you pick a pick a jury that doesn't have people on it as his actual fans? Oh, not even that. Anybody that's swayed by anything that they've seen, like the video of Cassie, that was everywhere. How right. how can you get a juror that hasn't seen that video? Yeah. There are also two the feds are they mentioned in this in this uh filing that they mad that Diddy be using the other inmates that like he be uh using their uh, their phone mm -hmm. accounts to call other people. And then did y'all know you not supposed to call people on three way for inmates? Definitely not supposed to. I didn't know that was illegal. Don't don't snitch on nobody. Don't I'm snitch not, on I'm yourself, Lauren. <laughs> I don't 
sound like you're about to tell on yourself. You're <laughs> definitely about to tell on yourself. <laughs> I know that was illegal. I used to do that all, <laughs> all the time. time. Yeah, that was years ago. Like, somebody call me. Can you call my mama too? Right, let me call your mama too. Yep, that's illegal. Fair is sophisticated, to. and we don't. I don't know nothing about what you guys are talking about it. And yeah, there's no three way calls. I didn't know that. I learned that through this. I'm like, wait, that's yeah. You know, inmates are not supposed to have cell phones either in jail. Yes, I know that. But how would you think that I know inmates that have cell phones? Just seems like something you would know. <laughs> all right, moving on. Um, <laughs> so. Yeah, but okay, so that's basically what's happening. And then uh, Diddy's team will be responding back soon. They're also saying that he would he had plans to like leak and uh, leak stuff online that would make basically make the claims against him look not good or fake or whatever. Basically, trying to make himself look good. And uh, I'm just, uh, doesn't he know that every call that he does has to know it's recorded? There's no way you don't know that unless so you're talking is, to your attorney. But every outside of that, every call is. If this is all true, this is stupid. He's an idiot. Dumbest thing I've ever heard of. This is all true, and and they, I I don't think that the federal aid, the the, you know, the prosecutors would say this unless they could prove it. But Mm -hmm. we'll have to wait and see. Now, um, I believe all of it except for the writing notes and leaving the notes. Because he don't write. That don't even, but that don't even sound right. Like, why would you be writing notes and we paid off so and so? Yeah, we paid off. Take that. Take that. Yeah, I don't believe that. (laughs) Okay. Um. So, lastly. Um, Jay Z, Dame Dash. Remember we were reporting on the auction. Yes. So the auction finally happened. The auction happened, and guess who right now owns that third stake of Rockefeller? Who? The state of New York. Very random, right? Just, a, just what you mean? The government owns it. The state of New York owns it. They owns they own it because they won in the auction. They paid a million dollars for it. Um, and now I I had reached out. Y'all know I be reaching. Out. I had reached out because I'm like, how the heck did that happen? Like I thought Jay Z was supposed to show up and like when it was gonna be over. Right. Um. So what I was told from a person that would know was that there were three people in the auction, including the state. Two people showed up late. They couldn't register, so they couldn't auction at all. Jay's people were there, but mm-hmm. they never. They never they, bid. They never bid smart. at all. They were just there watching. It, it is smart. Um. And I'm also told that Jay Z is in conversation right now. His people are in conversation right now to buy that third stake of. Rockefeller, but it's a back and forth right now because they, the state wants that three mil. They need to pay the money that they're not gonna get three mil, and only Jay could actually really own that if you really think about it. Because if they own two thirds of it already, that means anything they do have to be approved by, by the two thirds. So Jay, yeah. just sit back and just say that you you just gonna sit on that and get nothing. This is crazy. This is really crazy. This is has really Dame Dash explained to us what happened <laughs> from the couch yet? She's, no, I I haven't seen that you yet. Dame be on that couch going in, boy. On that show, I forgot. What, it's one of the shows that's on his. No, no, couch. You on, on a chair? He be on, a, on are, a chair. That's a chair. That'd be a chair. Oh, I don't you know. are like one of the most. You are so shady. I don't understand why that's shady. The way from that the way, from that couch. Well, whatever it is, a couch chair, whatever it is, he be on there going in explaining stuff. So Ameri- he explained it. To that's you. on America's New, right? That's the yeah, network. America's, America's New, 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 New Network. I haven't seen his response, but I, I will keep you updated. Okay, I'm from sure he'll do it this week. I'm sure he'll do it today. He's gonna be on there cussing you out. You better relax. Because I said he's. Has he sat it's the on way the couch you said and it. No, it's, it's the not. way you said Y'all it. You be stop. knowing what you be doing. Yeah. You got to stop. What, is, uh, so that's like saying, uh, has Plies explained anything from the car yet? Did in that the car? Shady? In, How are you being shady in the car? Exactly. <laughs> that's what they do. <laughs> that don't make no sense. All right. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> let's keep it moving. That was just with the mm-hmm. mess with Lauren LaRosa. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.